The Raspberry Pi comes with a program called Raspy Still. It's written to capture still images with the Raspberry Pi camera module. It's so powerful you may be able to avoid writing any other program to satisfy your photo needs. So let's take five minutes to examine Raspy Still in depth. Hi, I'm Mark Neiman Ross, and welcome to this week's edition of Raspberry Pi Weekly. Every week we explore the Raspberry Pi and share useful tips. Before we start with Raspy Still, there is another program called Raspy Vid for capturing video. We'll talk about that application later. Raspy Still assumes you've installed the Raspberry Pi camera module. You'll find installation instructions in the Raspberry Pi Essential Training course in this library. That video also describes the basic use of Raspy Still, but to explore every feature of Raspy Still would take hours. So instead, I've provided a program that takes a picture with every Raspy Still option. To use it, CD to the Exercise Files folder containing exercise underbar Raspy Still.sh. And then from a terminal window, type in dot slash exercise Raspy Still.sh. Then smile for the camera. Actually, Smile about 200 times because that's the number of photos that this program will take. And it runs for almost half an hour. Each photo is labeled with the commands used to create it. Now that exercise raspystill.sh is done running, you have an entire directory full of sample images. Let's close the terminal window. and enlarge the directory with all the images. Each image is named with the parameters that were used to produce that image. So for example, the first one is raspy still analog gain under bar one. And if we open up that image, what we'll see is our still life at analog gain of one. And we can compare that with an analog gain of 12. So you can see there's certain differences in the white balance and the color of the bananas. Again, there are about 200 images in this directory, and they give you all of the different values that you can use with Raspy Still. There are some special filters that it uses as well. So for example, Raspy Still GL Scene Oil Paint GL gives us an oil paint texture, or GL Scene Solarize gives us an entirely different image than what we had before. With Raspy Still under bar high speed photo, there are several images with numbers following 0023, 0024. And this is generated by the Raspy Still command, which includes a command percent 04D that includes four decimals of increasing numbers. One particularly interesting use of Raspy Still is the ability to create time-lapse photography. The commands for time-lapse photography with Raspy Still are in the exercise under bar Raspy Still. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Raspberry Pi Weekly. Be sure to join the LinkedIn group and check out previous episodes on LinkedIn Learning. I'll see you next week with more Raspberry Pi adventures.